Uh, thanks so much. It's really interesting, the Smart Cities program yesterday and, and layering in. So I'm going to try to go through this a little bit. I'm bringing the IQ of the room down a bit. So I appreciate you even including me. Um, Kitchen of Partners is a development company. And the truth is, it all started with Sid's vision about what a new town or a new city could be. So one of the hallmarks is, if you started with a Greenfield site, what could you do with it? And layering in smart city technology into almost everything you do. And so I'm gonna go through some of the things we're doing now, uh, and you can shout me down if you need to. Um, we say we're powered by the sun, but we're energized by you. If you don't know, we are 100% solar powered community it's a direct feed from the solar farm we have a current 75 megawatt which i'll share with you in a bit and in the day when so or in the evening when solar pulls back natural gas so cleanest form of energy and in, in any community in the u.s um, the reason that Sid originally bought this land, uh, and it was the single largest land transaction ever in the state of Florida. Jeb Bush was the governor at the time. The reason for that, as you see the red triangle, it was the last connection for the wildlife corridor from Lake Okeechobee to the Charlotte County Estuary. Anyone who's from Florida understands water is king. So it was about making sure water was clean and that it had uh, some environmental sustainability practices in terms of how it cleaned the water before it got into to the Caloosahatchee and anyone who's been following the news understands that the algae and, and what we're dealing with is, is pretty substantial. <clears throat> Give you an indication of where we're located, uh, South Florida, we say Fort Myers, we actually split uh, the, pro the property split between Charlotte County and Lee County, and we're about 25 miles between Punta Gorda Airport and uh, the Fort Myers Airport. That gives you an indication of what is staying in preserve forever, and then the town is in red, and I'll get into some specifics in terms of size in just a second. So the original ranch that was purchased was 91,000 acres, 18,000 acres retained for the development. Just to give you a sense of scale, everybody, layer that over all five boroughs in New York City. All five boroughs, so Babcock Ranch fits over all five boroughs, uh, just to give you a sense of scale. We're approved for 19,500 dwelling units or density units. Um, currently, we've already contracted, we started less than two years ago. We've contracted for 1,900 lots. We sold 275 homes last year, which puts us in the top 10 master plan communities in the state of Florida. The reason I bring that up is because we're gonna talk about the smart city practices and the reason that we've been so successful, we believe is this hallmark of the smart city technologies and, and environmental sustainability. People are choosing to live a better life. They're not sure exactly why. It's not just the autonomous vehicles or solar. It's really the complement of all of those things. We are also approved for one, uh, 6 million square feet of commercial. We have about 100 to 150,000 square feet of commercial currently. So phase one. This gives you an indication. This is about 750 lots that are all developed. We have national builders from Pulte and Lennar and Meritage to regional builders. Uh, what you don't see on here is I closed a thousand lot deal uh, two weeks ago, which is to the northern part of the property. The reason I show you this is just to give you an indication of proximity to water, wildlife, natural preserves. Everything you see in green will stay in green forever. And we have chosen to keep 90% of the original ranch in pr original ranch in preserve forever. Most developers get a bad rap, especially when you're trying to start from scratch, that we rape and pillage the land. The truth is we believe you can do something different uh, from, these, from the onset and that it will, um, and that it will prove beneficial and uh, economically viable long-term. Okay, so the reason I show this slide is because Sid had a vision for what Babcock Ranch could be in 2006. These were the core initiatives in 2006. Environment, energy, education, health, transportation, technology, public safety, and then I got here three years ago and I layered in fun. Mm -hmm. and the reason I layered in fun is because you can have all those things above it, but if you're not in a community that has any fun, no one's gonna wanna purchase there or buy there, and at the end of the day, I'm a real estate developer and I need to sell real estate, so we need to make sure we layer it in fun. I'm gonna touch on a number of these, not all of them today because we don't have the time, but every one of these is part of our decision tree and why we make our decisions uh, within Babcock currently. 
We could not do what we do without our strategic partners. So Florida Power and Light put in their first 75 megawatt solar facility. We donated the land. They put in the, uh, uh, the solar field. As I said at the top of the, of, of the speech, if you will, uh, it is a direct feed. So we get direct feed from the solar field. Anything that's unused go be goes back up into the grid. It was so successful that we've since sold them another 400 acres. We'll have 150 megawatt photovoltaic facility in Babcock Ranch, which will be the single largest in the US. Um, and we're really encouraged. FPL has been an amazing partner and I'm gonna talk about them in just a second. CenturyLink also provides gig fiber to every home and every business. They put in over five gig of infrastructure in the ground from the onset. Promised not to tell anyone, but they did over a million dollars in infrastructure without a signed contract. Uh, showed their, uh, their appetite for the community. We do have a rev share with them and we established that when I first got there uh, because they see the long-term benefit. I'm gonna talk about some of the details with them in just a second. TransDev is our autonomous vehicle partner. Uh, we have a partnership with the Babcock Ranch Transportation Association with TransDev. TransDev is one of the single largest transportation companies in the world. You don't know them because they're a parent company, but if you've taken an airport shuttle anywhere from Heathrow to Boston, uh, it's, it's their platform. They have provided a fair amount of R&D into the community. Uh, you were outstanding in terms of, uh, we've created an incubated environment where we can test autonomous vehicles in real time in an environment with real people, and that's proven very positive to them. Uh, and we're at a first year of testing, and I'll talk about that. Lee Health, which is our wellness partner, and there's some technology that I wanna share with you. And then Levitas is one creating our app-based platform Yesterday, we talked about Dubai and the app that they're using in Dubai. We're doing the same app platform at Babcock, and I'm gonna walk through the stakeholders and what's included that in just a second. FPL, 275 megawatt facilities. So this is a fun fact. I'm gonna get everyone waking up a bit. So just with the first 75 megawatt, if you put the panels end to end, it goes from the state of Florida to the south of Chicago. So wrap your head around that. And every single one of those panels was put in by hand. It's unbelievable. Uh, it was a true a vision of the human testament. The people who actually did this work were unbelievable. What we found is people, we had 20,000 people come out to our ribbon cutting. Uh, we only had five models to show them. 20,000 people, I got my rear end kicked, I can promise you. And what everyone wanted to see was solar. No one could connect the fact that that was powered by the sun because they couldn't see it. So FPL said, we'll help you. They put in a million dollar observation tower and we do tours on the weekends to take people to see how that's powered by the sun. It's proven very beneficial. We've layered in solar trees, which you see in the bottom right hand. Uh, I use that as public art. I had a half million dollar public art budget and I thought those were pretty good looking and they can also be used as charging stations. But the key is we have 30,000 registered visitors to Babcock last year. They wanna see solar. They wanna, they've never seen it in that capacity. So we're doing that. We also have a $15 million investment. We have a battery powered Power, battery powered storage facility on site. Uh, right now it has redundancy for up to four hours, um, but I think we beat Elon Musk to the punch in terms of uh, battery power storage. So how do we use solar within the community? We have solar powered golf carts. We have solar powered garbage cans. If you don't know, we use Big Belly as an operating system. So we only empty garbage cans when they need emptied, not on a regular and rotating basis, which helps with your operational O&M. And we have rooftop solar, we have leases. We get garnish revenue from other people being able to put solar on, uh, on our roof structures. So we have, a, uh, I'm going fast because I know we're a little late. We have gig fiber to every home and every business. The re and we have community free Wi-Fi and that's on all the trails and we have almost 50 miles worth of trails. The reason the gig fiber is interesting is that we provide gig fiber to every homeowner for $63 a month. You probably get 100 meg for your Comcast someplace. We're doing it for $63 a month at a full gig. The reason that's interesting is, I don't know if any of you have kids, but my kids haven't watched a television program outside of dad watching sports. Has, haven't watched a television program in probably two years. It's uh, completely unbundled. And CenturyLink worked with us two and a half years ago on, we believe that's gonna be the wave of the future. So instead of $179 a month to get a bunch of channels that you don't really want or you won't use, we're providing a gig fiber so it can be used on demand and unbundled. 
smart home requirements. So we talk about smart cities, but at the end of the day, people have to have a place to dwell. So one of the greatest parts is we have Lennar as one of our key partners and Pulte's is one of our key partners. We put in technology standards, green building coalition standards, as well as technology standards in every single contract. So they can't sell a house to an end user that's not wired for sound. It's not wired effectively. And we require an electron electric charging station in, in every garage, just for an indication that gives you a, a small anecdote. Uh, but we're really trying to be at least five years in advance in terms of what people are gonna want in their home and with smart home technology. So our autonomous vehicles. So what you see in red is our, our Gen 1, that was two years ago. We're on Gen 3 and Gen 4 right now. Bottom right hand corner, the reason I'm showing you that, this is a fun fact I shared earlier. So we delivered school children not to the site of the school. We were a shuttle service, not a bus service. Looks like a bus, I realize. Uh, we were turned in by the bus driver union to the National Transportation Association, and we had to shut down our transportation for our students within Babcock to access the school. That doesn't mean it's not still something we want to do. We just have to be mindful of the how. And we have done complete testing and related with our partnership. We have a closed loop shuttle now that goes to all the key amenities in the community. And we're launching right now, uh, probably March, middle of March, an app-based platform on demand. So if the severances want to go have two glasses of wine at the restaurant, I can on demand Uber, my autonomous vehicle, take me to the restaurant and, get, and it can take me home. We're really excited about that platform. And again, it's all about a unique testing environment that's closed, uh, but it gives people an opportunity to live in real life examples and scenarios. You know, our owners are so excited about this. They're excited about being a part of something cutting edge and different and unique. Uh, we haven't had to sell them on this as an attribute. They truly have embraced all of these initiatives as the reason that this is where they want to live versus another place. Um, Lee Healthy Life Center, one of the reasons, so I'm a runner uh, training for a, a triathlon and you run on the treadmill and it tells you exactly how much wattage you generate. So it says, hey, you're only generating a light bulb. You could be generating a juicer or a fan. You need to, you need to speed it up. Uh, I get a healthy scorecard from Lee Health, uh, from Lee Healthy, uh, sorry, Lee Healthy Life Center, as well as from FPL. And we publish a healthy scorecard to all of our residents so that people understand how much emissions is being saved and then what you can do to help be a part of the sustainability efforts. Uh, we also have physicians and we have telehealth five days a week on site within Babcock Ranch. So our technology, I referenced the Dubai app. We're in the middle of this application now. It's everything from taking the open APIs, which I was appreciative of earlier today, when you look at the stakeholders and you, and you talk through, who do we want to work with? We want to work with people that have open APIs because we see the overall benefit to that, uh, that platform. Do we see being, people being able to make reservations for the tennis courts as well as reservations for a kayak? Yes. Can you pay your water bill? Yes. Your garbage? Yes. Can you do an app-based platform to get to the restaurant? Yes. Uh, can you use a cello where you are part of the management and maintenance of a light may be out or a tree may be down? You can take a picture and that gets uploaded directly to the operations and maintenance team uh, so that everyone becomes eyes and ears, not just the, the staff that's paid to do an O&M. And you'll see this within six months. Um, we do have cameras, we do have LED lights, uh, our cameras have worked. One of the things as a community in South Florida is most people have a gate, right? They go in a gate, they go to a clubhouse to play Mahjong or they glow in their, their, their uh, garage and they never see anybody. We're not gated and one of the things we had to talk about was safety and we've been really encouraged by the eyes in the sky and the license plate readers. Uh, we've, had them, we've had to use them once in terms of uh, finding someone who stole a laptop out of a, uh, a house and, and uh, we caught the we caught the person, uh, but now we are layering all of those onto our uh, streetlights. We have a lease for our streetlights. We chose not to put a million dollars into the infrastructure, so we lease the streetlights, smart LED lighting. We have dark skies provisions as part of uh, Babcock Ranch, and we've layered into that lease our ability to put cameras and sensors on all of our streetlights. We own our water, wastewater. We own our waste management company. Uh, we're using Aquahawk currently to do all of the metering and, and the reading, which uh, I think if you look at the holistic, as I'm trying to talk about a community as a whole, it's really important because all those things factor in. 
And lastly, which I'm really excited about, uh, when you're in the home building, when you're in the home sales business, the supply demand continuum, we have to shrink the supply. You're always at the mercy of whatever the prices are for, for timber and related. We are working on a precision built platform where we're putting in a manufacturing facility on site to do precision built homes. What are precision built homes? Uh, they're high end modular. That's what they are. And we're bringing the factory to Babcock so we can shrink the, the truck time, we can shrink the manufacturing time, and we can shrink, uh, you know, People ask me, is it more costly? Yes, because time is money. It's more, uh, or more cost effective. Yes, because time is money. Um, it will get better. Right now, it's, uh, it's, it's probably 15 to 18% less uh, expensive than a traditional home build, but we're in the process of that. And this is actually representative of the product we're working on right now. We do have SIP panel construction, ha constructed houses now, and we will have um, modular built, precision built houses within the next six months. At the end of the day, that's a real shot. I'm not a photographer. Um, that's my iPhone. And the reason I take that picture is um, when you live a better life, it's about you being a participant. You don't have to live at Babcock Ranch to be a part of all these other uh, attributes. You can visit, you can have an ice cream, you can have a coffee. And great communities and great towns are great places you want to visit too. So thank you for your time.